This segment is about installing Virtual PC onto your computer. After you've downloaded uh, from Microsoft, it's a free download, go ahead and start the installation by clicking on the setup. looks like a little CD disk. Uh, Wizard will start up, preparing to install. Only takes a, a short couple of minutes. Uh, it's a fairly small program. Welcome to the installation wizard for Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. Go ahead and click Next. Uh, software licensing agreement, I accept. Click Next. You'll notice that the uh, product key code is already embedded into the product, so we don't need a product key code. Click Next. Uh, install, install, ready to install program. Click Install. Status here. Again, this is a pretty small program, so it will install very quickly. Being a little patient here, there's and uh, installation complete. Click finish. Now that we have it installed, we can go ahead and start it. Go down to your start button, click and click start. Go up to programs. You should find it on your computer, Microsoft Virtual PC. Go ahead and start it. You'll see this window open up, and here's another wizard. Uh, welcome to the new, new Virtual PC machine wizard. Click next. Um, says so there's several options here. Create a virtual machine, use the default settings to create virtual machine, or add existing virtual machine. On this one we're going to go ahead and leave the default create virtual machine. Click next. Uh, this virtual machine I'm going to create is going to be uh, just a DOS. So I'm going to go ahead and type in DOS here as my virtual machine. And I'm going to give this a location. I'm going to browse. Uh, I have a folder that I'm going to create uh, and I'm just going to call it uh, my DOS uh, VMS for virtual machine. Go ahead and open up that folder and I will save uh, my DOS virtual machine in there. You'll notice the name and location is the F drive DOS virtual machine and then DOS.VMC. Click next. Uh, operating system, other, uh, if you click on this down arrow, you'll notice there is a large number of operating systems. We could even include Vista. I'm just going to leave this on other because there isn't a DOS uh, option. Click next. Uh, do you want to uh, adjust the RAM? Right now I'm using the recommended RAM, which is only 128 megabytes, but for this uh, it's going to be fine. Click next. Uh, do you want to use the existing virtual hard disk or a new one? I'm going to create a new virtual hard drive. And I'm going to put it in that uh, DOS folder. So I'll click Next. You can see it's going to, head, going to go ahead and create it in my uh, DOS folder. Uh, the virtual size, the virtual size of this hard disk is going to be 16,384 megabytes. That's a little bit more than 16 gigabytes. Now that's not going to actually take that uh, space on your hard drive yet, but it can grow to that much. Right now it's only going to be just probably a few megabytes. Click Next. And that completes it. Finish. Now you'll notice we have a DOS uh, virtual machine. It's not running. I'm going to go ahead and start it. Uh, you'll notice that when it starts it's going to try to boot up, but there's not going to be any uh, operating system, so we're not going to see anything. I'm going to go ahead. This has a great feature up here in the tab. So I'm going to click CD. I'm going to capture an ISO image. Now ISO is an image that is created from a bootable CD. So any bootable CD, whether it be an install CD or some kind of a program, you can create an ISO file. A good place to uh, get an application for doing this is ISO Recorder. You can find that using Google puts a small uh, utility on your computer and allows you to create ISO files. So I'm going to go ahead and capture the ISO. Uh, let's see, where did I put my ISO? It's on my backup uh, partition and it's right here. You can see a DOS ISO. So I'm going to click that, click open, and now I'm going to have to reboot this virtual machine. In order to do that, come up here to action and click on control alt delete. And this will reboot the virtual machine and it will use my little ISO file 
which is going to start Windows 98. Now I have Windows 98 running in the DOS version, and it's it started uh, at the A prompt. So now I can take uh, and start any DOS uh, utility from this point and start creating partitions or whatever I want to do with this virtual machine. Uh, this concludes this segment. Thank you very much.